Ama bak hadi davran. What's up everybody, my name is Nefisto and welcome back. And today, as you might have understood from the intro and the title, we're gonna play Hogwarts Legacy. The most anticipated game of 2023 and the one that I was the most excited about. I have been a huge, huge Harry Potter fan for as long as I remember. Also, just one second, wait here, don't move. This is my one collection and I'm gonna show it to you because otherwise I'm not gonna have any other chance to show those off to people. <laughs> those two, I took them at the Universal Studios in uh, Hollywood. If, if you haven't been there, please, and you are a Harry Potter fan, please go and visit it. If you buy those ones, they have, I don't know if you can see, there is sort of a, a LED on top. Look like I'm showing makeup stuff. <laughs> and uh, on some shops, if you go outside and you look on the, gr on the ground, there is the magic spell that you can do on the front of the... Um, on the outside of the shop and stuff starts to move around. Like, beyond the glass. <laughs> the second one. I don't know if you can see the details. Ah, focus! Yeah, this is pretty cool as well. Also has the LED on top. Like there is a chip inside. Then the third one is the Luna Lovegood one, which is one of my favorite characters in the whole series. This one, I got it from a friend. And last but not least, Harry's Wand. I've been having this one since I was probably nine years old because I remember that uh, it was like every week a piece of the chessboard was coming out and I was going to buy it and the first one was I don't remember which piece and the one that I've been having this one since then. All of this was to show you that I'm actually a really big big fan of the Harry Potter series and if this cannot convince you well I don't know what what will. So without further ado get your wand ready your Hogwarts Express ticket ready because we're going to Hogwarts. <laughs> we are pleased to inform you that you've been accepted at Hogwarts Schools of Witchcraft and Wizardry as a fifth year student. Terms begin, term begins on 1st September. Pre preliminary supplies have been collected for you and will accompany you on your journey to the castle. As you may be aware, the decree for reasonable restriction of underage sorcery prohibits the use of magic by those under the age of 17 outside school. However, due to your unique circumstances, the Ministry has graciously agreed to allow Professor Eleazar Fig to help you on <coughs> your spell casting before escorting you from London to the castle for the start of term feast and the sorting ceremony. Yours sincerely, M. Weasley, Professor Weasley, Deputy Headmistress. Alright, let's go! Oh, um, Alright, we got prompt with character creation straight away. I don't want to spend too much time on this, to be honest. Two days later. Alright, I think we're good to go. Maybe I'll just... You know what? I'm gonna go with this one. First name... Let's go... And then last name, we just put an H. Just like this. That's it. Finish with character creation. Difficulty, we're gonna go normal. And start your journey, baby! Ah, it appears we are almost ready to depart. It's a pity we didn't have a bit more time to spend on spell casting. I presume you've been practicing the spells we worked on. I have, Professor. Well, I'm quite sure I've never seen anyone take so quickly to a second-hand wand. You'll be a force to be reckoned with when you get your own. Thank you, Professor Fig. I appreciate you working with me before the time again. Why, hello there. Hello there. Oh, <laughs> Eleazar! George! Glad my rather cryptic description of our location did not thwart your finding us. I've apparated to more vaguely defined destinations than this. 
Though I confess I may have miscalculated slightly on my first try, <laughs> gave quite the fright to some theater goers in the West End. <laughs> it's been much too long. When I received your owl, I must uh, say I... Best not speak here, Eleazar. Of course. Why don't we speak en route to Hogwarts? We have a start of term feast and a sorting ceremony to get to. Wonderful idea! As long as your young charge here doesn't mind me tagging along. Not at all, sir. After you. Ages since I've been to the castle. Would be good to see the old pile of rocks. <laughs> oh, he worried. Also, I forgot to mention, I did already the test uh, to see where I'm gonna be sorted and which one which wand I will get. I'm not gonna spoil anything. But yeah, I did I already know where I'm gonna end up. I don't know if the Patronus is gonna be brought into the game or not though. Wow, so far it looks amazing. We didn't start yet, but even the character creation was so good. You could see hair by hair. Avalanche. Yeah, Wizarding World is where you can do the test to see in which house you're gonna end up, what patrons and what wand you're gonna get. Traveling companion. A new student. New? Yes, sir. I'm starting school as a fifth year. How extraordinary. It is indeed. None of the faculty has ever heard of anyone being admitted to Hogwarts so late. Nor have I. Of course, as the other fifth years will have been honing their magical skills for four years now, the headmaster asked if I could get our new student up to speed a bit before the term begins. Well, you couldn't have asked for a better mentor. Professor Fig is not only an exceptional teacher, he's also a remarkably intuitive and gifted wizard. Mr. Osric is prone to flattery. I dare say it's one of the reasons he's risen so far at the Ministry. <laughs> oh. Have you seen this? Goblin Rebellion. I have. Opinions differ as to how great a threat Ranrock really is. Although I've yet to convince my colleagues at the Ministry, I believe he is a significant threat. And it was your wife, Eleazar, who alerted me to his activities months ago. Miriam? How? <sighs> she wrote to me about Ranrock before she died, wondering what the Ministry knew oh. about his activities. Before I could respond, I received this. It was the last thing she sent me, Eleazar. It came to me via her owl, but with no correspondence. I can only assume that she had to get rid of it quickly to keep it safe. Presumably from Ranrock. I cannot open it. Whatever magic protects this is powerful indeed. It looks like goblin metal. That symbol. What's that glow? I don't see a glow. Nor do I. Merlin's beard. How did you eat? We do. Oh, she. Oh, he dead. Wow! Oh, we can see the test rods. Also, uh, I pre-ordered this is the deluxe edition, so we're gonna get the Onyx Hippogriff and also the test rod with other cosmetics.
That was close. Run, Squirrel! Run! You're hurt. Perhaps a bit. Uh. Take this. It's Wigan World Potion. That stuff will right you in a second. What happened? Poor George. I can't believe he... What the hell got into that damn thing? Attacking a carriage mid-air? A typical dragon would never... Professor? <sighs> Sir, where are we? I'm not sure. But that key you discovered was clearly a port key. Port key? An item enchanted to bring whoever touches it to a specific place. Yeah, we got that part already. Also, nice coat! Better, sir, if you like to look around a bit. I would. But stay close. We've no idea who created this port key. Or why. Oh, let's go! It looks so good! Wow, that's a landscape. Where did that port key take us? Farther from London than the carriage traveled. We're somewhere in the Scottish Highlands. Sir, those ruins. Do you think the port key was meant to lead us there? I do. This has not been huh. the day either of us expected. But Miriam sent that port key to George for a reason. And I believe that she. And now George died in pursuit of whatever it was meant to lead to. If you're sure you're all right and wouldn't mind indulging me, I'd like to have a look around. Absolutely, sir. Good. Let's see if we can find a path, however faded it may be. Where's the path step? to Hogwarts? Where Let's go! Your wife got the port key that brought us here. A good question. Miriam spent years searching for evidence of a long-forgotten form of ancient magic. Ancient magic? Yes. A powerful magic wielded by a rare few that seems to have been lost to time. Hogwarts Castle was built by, and is itself a stronghold of that ancient magic. I don't know where she came into possession of the port key, but I am certain it was to do with that search. Do you oh, want to jump? That's the path down below. This way. But sir, why was your wife searching for evidence of lost magic? Miriam wanted to understand why such powerful magic disappeared from the wizarding world. Spoke of the good it could do. But magic is no different than any power. What really matters is the one who wields it. True, true. Ooh. Is that ice? It's not cold enough here. It appears to be a sort of enchantment. Someone wanted to block this path. Let's see some of that one work you were practicing. Focus on the center. Yeah, I got it. I got it. I got it. Excellent. Use camera to select an active target. Uh oh <clears throat> that it was collapsed. a bit rougher than I'd expected. Oh, that's so cool. Yeah, breaking bases. I feel like I'm back in Dark Souls.
پارکور یس آی نیو وی ود اوریدی اسٹارٹ فرام ہیئر یور ون ورکس امپروونگ وتھ ایوری کاسٹ تھینک یو سر آئی لائک دس گائے پلیز ڈونٹ ڈائی ناؤ Not ever, but... We're close now, it's just ahead. Oh, windy! Steady yourself! Reparo! <laughs> I'm so excited for this game, guys. I feel like I'm a child again. Almost there. Oh, we're gonna have to fight already or not yet? Well, I mean, us. As a statue? The minimap shows your surrounding with you in the middle. This is your current objective. Press B and toggle quest details. I'm going to check the statue. Professor, this statue... This may have been his home. All right. We got another chest here. Nope. That enchanted crystallized stone again. But what could it be blocking? What's this? Professor Fig. Professor? All right. Don't get me scared here. How odd. Why would someone have conjured that enchanted stone here? And how is there a room behind it? What room? I don't see anything. There's that glow again. What? It's like the glow on the port key container. <laughs> It's not gonna break. All right, those. So the one with the symbol, I have to investigate. Godric's heart. Where are we? Wow. I don't believe it. I don't like this sound. Wait. Hello? Is this... Are we where I think we are? <clears throat> no, probably not. Probably, yes, he's a banker. I knew it. Vol I freaking Vol knew it. I presume. <laughs> Precisely. The key. Mm -hmm. Your wife's port key. Oh, yes, of course. This way, then. I Let's knew it. We were at the Green God. A 
after you. Now keep your hands inside the cart if you don't wish to lose them. <laughs> of the bank. Rare anyone goes there anymore. Hmm. He corrupted. Here we are. Let's see what we got in Vault 12. When was the last time this vault was accessed? A goblin has been stationed at my desk for hundreds of years. In that time, no one has visited Vault 12 until today. Wow. Vault 12, thank you for your help. I'm a bit scared now. <laughs> what do you suppose we should be looking for? I'm not sure. Sir, I wonder if you might... The instructions for Vault 12 indicate that I am to grant access to the holder of the key and then close the door. Wait. What? Best of luck. <sighs> Professor? That was certainly unexpected. Oh, Let again. Think. There must be something here. Hmm, Revelio, perhaps. Revelio? Yes, a revealing charm. No time like the present. Let's see what we're missing, shall we? Ready your wand and focus. What? Yeah, I saw it before. And try again. A door. Well, that's a start. The 
It's that symbol again. I don't suppose you see a way to... I do, Professor. That symbol has the same glow as the one I saw on the port key container. If what you can see reveals the way forward, then I dare say we are about to discover the secret of this vault. Lead the way. Open! Lumos! This is no ordinary vault. I suspect we will need to earn our way out of here. What do you mean, earn our way out? Do you think this is some sort of test? I do. But to what end, I can't say. Stay close. There will be no disapparating if things go poorly. Not out of Gringotts. Ooh. Revelio. Nothing. I see Why don't you teach me Lumos? What is it? That glow again, but on the floor. Hmm. What? What happened? When I moved towards the glow, it suddenly seemed as if the ground was swirling about. Are you all right? Yes, sir. I'm fine. You seem to have what? caused the floor to change. That statue? What statue? I see some sort of statue, but only as a reflection in the floor. Revelio, I presume this is what you saw reflected in the floor. Huh. It is. The reflection's still there, but the statue's positions don't match. Wait, when you moved, the reflection turned in the direction of the light. Hmm, perhaps you should cast Lumos. Yes, please. <laughs> You're acquiring the one lightning charm Lumos. Lighting, sorry. Which has automatically been slotted to your spell set. Lumos create a light at the tip of your wand to help you see in the dark areas. Lumos, well done. Now the reflection is turning towards me. It does fall. Oh, oh, oh. No. Oh, okay. Oh, no. That's a boss fight. Uh oh. Look out. Woo! Ah. Ah, no, run, 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 run. How do I dodge? Oh, no! Let's get this over with. Ow. No, don't backstab me. Ouch. And I run out of potion.
Okay, finally. Come on. Okay, just let's get this over with. Still nothing. Professor! Professor Fig! Professor, where are you? This isn't good. Where am I supposed to go? What's happening? The wisps of magic seem to be leading me somewhere. Revelio! Protego! Lumos! Follow the way, follow the way. Revelio. Lumos. Ah, that's where they're leading me. That glow again. Yeah, let me just open the chest. Done. Choice. I'm going to have to fight my way out of here. Oh shit. Come on. Yes. All cure during Protego, stun the enemies with stupefy, and counter attack stun the enemies, take extra damage. Alright, cool. Protected shit. No, come on. Okay, I'm getting the hang of it. Ah. Okay. So then, never mind. Cool. Come on. I died already. He got me. He got me this time. Woo! 
that's what I'm talking about. Revelio. Lumos. Nice. Okay, is this the end? All right. Whoo! There is definitely a learning curve. Potion? Oh, that's Beldelfin's water! Uh, there you are! How did you... What is this place? I don't know. But I found this floating above that... basin. That is no mere basin. That is a pensive for viewing memories. I wonder. to see what others cannot will not be enough, Percival. We are entrusting the one who embarks on this path with powerful secrets, with knowledge others will do anything to obtain. Yes, and if we are correct, Charles, the ritual wizard who completes the trials will have proven themselves worthy of that knowledge and the responsibility that accompanies it. We've done all that we can. what you're seeing the glow that surrounded them yes sir astonishing can i see magic traces of an ancient magic to be precise the magic that miriam had always believed existed but could never miriam and perhaps george died in pursuit of knowledge that has been dormant for centuries. And you, it seems, are the key to understanding why. We will... It all looks rather different than it did a moment ago. <laughs> Someone's coming. Who were they? I don't know. But, sir, you shouldn't be in here. I was right. Ranrock. Seems my reputation precedes me. I was beginning to think no one was ever going to visit Rackham's Vault. And why are you here? No need for that. Just give me whatever it is you found here and we can let bygones be bygones. Nope. <coughs> uh, sir, they had the key to the vault. <laughs> 
Choose your next words wisely. I... I only meant that the instructions to Vault 12 were quite clear. Sir, I, I must insist. I was to grant access only to one with the key, and you didn't have it. Uh-oh. And I he's gone. I have no patience for traitors. Now, where were we? I'm not giving you anything. Hmm. Well, perhaps your young friend here will be more helpful. Are we in trouble? Oh, he in trouble. Run! Nice. <laughs> Are you all right? Fine, sir. I've never seen so powerful a goblin. He seemed wholly unaffected by my magic. Where are we? It can't be. It seems those who set up the pensive, the locket, and the path to both, wanted someone with your ability to end up here. Come. We have a sorting ceremony to get to. Ah, uh, ha, ha, ha. Good. We haven't missed the sorting ceremony. I'm no expert, but that seems more appropriate. Now, I need to study this locket as soon as I can, but first I must contact the Ministry. They need to know what happened to George and be warned of Ranrock. For the moment, I ask that you keep all that's happened this evening between you and me. Of course, sir. Thank you. Ready for the sorting ceremony? to meet the headmaster. Fig, nice of you to join us. The sorting ceremony is over. There were complications. Complications? It seems the goblin Enough. problem has... 
goblins. I've no time for rumors, Fig, and I'm rapidly losing whatever patience I had left. If you're lucky, we might still be able to get you sorted this evening. <clears throat> I'll be in touch. Professor Weasley, we've one more to be sorted. Welcome. You're just in time. Have a seat. Ah, yes. A bit older than the others, aren't you? You come here with preferences and preconceptions. Certain expectations. Uh, I can't wait to start classes. I'm looking forward to meeting my professors and learning all I can at Hogwarts. Indeed. Hogwarts has much to offer a dedicated student. And what you learn in class will prepare you for challenges outside the classroom as well. Mm. Oh, but you're brave at heart. Exceptionally daring. Undaunted by the unknown. Willing to forge ahead alone when you must. Perhaps you belong in Gryffindor. Yep. That's what I was sorted on uh, the wizardy world. Gryffindors are known from daring, bravery and chivalry. That's me. To be honest, in the beginning I was a bit upset. I always thought of myself more of a Slytherin or a Ravenclaw, but... Not too bad, not too bad. I'll just... I'll take it. I'm just gonna go with whatever I ended up on the... On the website. Yes. Oh, and one more thing. Due to the unfortunate injury on the pitch in last spring's final, this year's Quidditch season has been cancelled. Oh no. Enough. It's not as though I've banned flying altogether, but don't tempt me. You are here to focus on your academic futures. I'm sure you will have plenty to do before classes begin tomorrow. I said, I'm sure you all have plenty to do before classes begin tomorrow. Go home, go to sleep. Quite an entrance. It's lovely to meet you. I'm... Professor Weasley, would you be so kind as to show our new student to their common room? I shall see to it, sir. As I was saying, I'm Professor Weasley. Pleased to meet you. Nice to meet you as well, Professor. As Deputy Headmistress, it is my distinct honor to show you to your common room. Right this way. Oh, she's so kind. It's most uncommon for a student to begin as a fifth year. This should be quite an adventure. I'm looking forward to it. I remember the first time I entered the Gryffindor common room after being sorted. You were a Gryffindor? I am a Gryffindor. Never could remember the password when I was a girl, however. Password? Password? The password is Grata Domum. Grata Domum. You may enter. <laughs> well done. Now, go on in and get some sleep. You have a big day ahead of you tomorrow. I shall be back in the morning to collect you for your first class. Thank you, Professor Weasley. You're welcome. I hope you enjoy your first night at Hogwarts. Sleep well. 
Oh look, we got the same tie. Just noticed. Looks like everyone's gone. Better head to the common room. Quest started. Welcome to Hogwarts. I need to head to my common room. Sounds as if there were some voices coming from nearby. Perhaps I should follow them. Let's go. Wait. I always thought I was supposed to go down. Huh. Now, which way is the common room? Ah, oh, it's locked. Yes, I think so. Chrisida Bloom. I don't know what I'm doing wrong. It's not a complicated spell. I should be able to do it non-verbally. Why is this not working? Oh! oh, hello there. Welcome to Gryffindor. I'm Cressida. Pleasure to meet you, Cressida. Splendidly theatrical arrival to the sorting ceremony last evening. Made it in by the skin of your teeth. Is it true that you're Professor Fig's protege? Uh, yes. I'm not That's sure I'd me. say that, but I did a study with him a little before we arrived. Blast! I was hoping he might have given you some advice on non-verbal casting. Is that what you were trying to do just there? Oh, yes. Having a spot of trouble. I've mastered the charm using its incantation, but this is proving a bit trickier. Hmm... I'm sure you'll get it. Oh, yeah, she's nice. We'll get it in the end. Oh, I hope so. If I can get it, Professor Ronan's sure to be very impressed. I'm just going to keep at it. I wish you luck. Well, actually, I want to know. Hmm. Yeah, I kind of want to know really how difficult it is. To cast them verbally. Oh yes, and if you don't get it just right. The results can be, shall we say, awkward. Once, I tried to cast Depulso non-verbally on a goblet in the Great Hall and ended up launching Professor Sharp's Yorkshire pudding into his face. He was not happy. <laughs> well, um, hmm. Can most students cast non-verbally? how to cast non-verbally? Not at all. Hogwarts doesn't teach non-verbal casting until the sixth year. And even then, Many struggle with it. I'm simply trying to get ahead of the game. All right, wish you good luck. Well, good luck with it. It was nice to meet you, Cressida. You as well. Enjoy your first day. Oh, she's so nice. That girl thinks she can take away revenge I think she's Nelly. How do I introduce myself to her? She gets bolder every year. Is, You'll like it, trust me. Sure you don't want to try it? Brewed it myself. Hello, you're the new fifth year. Pleased to meet you, I'm Gareth Weasley. Heard about your travels here. Can't believe it. Glad you and Fig are all right. Is it true that someone from the ministry was with you in the carriage? Oh, uh, yes. A friend of Professor Fig's. Oh. Didn't mean to pry. Nasty business, dragons. Again, very glad you're here. Thank you, Gareth. So am I. Are you related to Professor Weasley? I am. She's my aunt. 
Uh, that must be very awkward. Does having your aunt here make things difficult? More than you'd think. Most people assume I can't get into trouble or be given detention. But they're wrong. Aunt Matilda tends to treat me as if I'm a first year. Keeps too close an eye on me. It's all a bit suffocating, to be honest. Still, she means well. And she's an incredibly powerful witch. She'll have your back. All right. Mm, what's in your mug? Are you having butter beer for breakfast? Hmm? Oh, no. I've been perfecting a recipe I came up with over the summer. I'm almost there, based on some reactions that may need a bit more work. Hmm. Seems you enjoy brewing. Might I assume that you've a talent for potions of all sorts? Well, as I see it, there's little difference, fundamentally, between brewing a modification to butterbeer and a Wiganweld potion. Though, I'm not certain Professor Sharp would make the connection. He doesn't appreciate my, uh, creativity as much as you might think. Hmm. Uh, nice meeting you. Well, it was nice meeting you, Gareth, and thank you for the insights on your aunt. Pleasure to meet you as well. Good luck today. Those are gonna be my two best friends. Shame you weren't born with wings. I'm sure you used apples. <laughs> oh, that's so cool. Why is everyone so highly strung? It's perfectly safe. <laughs> well, hello. Don't mind me. I find it helpful to change my point of view now and again. Put things in perspective. Once I made it to the top of Gryffindor Tower, from the outside, without a broom. Goodness. Are you insane? <laughs> I'm Nelly, by the way. Nelly Ogspire. I've heard rumors about what happened to you on your way to Hogwarts. Is it true? About the dragon? Yes. Yes, our carriage was attacked by a dragon. Crikey! I can't believe it. How thrilling! And also terrifying. Anyway, you've certainly brought some much needed excitement to Gryffindor. And Hogwarts, for that matter. Hmm. What exactly I are know. the rumors about my journey to Hogwarts? Uh, that you escaped a dragon attack? Isn't that enough? Most of us arrive via train or boat. Not having just escaped the jaws of a dragon. Of course it's got people talking. Word travels fast at Hogwarts. I take it you're not afraid of heights? Hmm, it's something I've always done since I was little. My mother once found me on the roof when I was five. Still has no idea how I got there. But with all the strange hallways and rooms in the castle and everything lurking in and outside the grounds, you don't need to scale a tower to see something incredible here. Hmm. I sense some flirting here. I'd imagine most students have never seen a dragon. Have you? Goodness, no. And I'd never heard of one attacking a carriage like that. Not enough meat in a carriage, I would think. I'm sure I'll be seeing you around, either in our common room or when you scale your next tower. <laughs> you never know. Bye for now. Goodbye. New Gryffindor. Oh, she's going back at it. Professor Weasley's waiting for you outside the common room. Thank you. morning. I trust you're ready for your first day at Hogwarts? I've been dreaming of this day for a long time. Can't believe I'm here. Well, you are here. Make the most of it. You only have one first day at Hogwarts. <laughs> now, in light of your unique situation, joining us as a fifth year, you'll need to catch up with your classmates and not fall behind. Especially as you'll be expected to complete your OWLs at the end of the year. OWLs? Owls? Yes, your ordinary wizarding level exams. They will determine what type of career you can have when you leave here. After much discussion with the headmaster and the Department of Magical Education at the Ministry, we've devised something extraordinary to ensure your success. Here you are.
What is it? It is a wizard's field guide. It will help you to keep track of what you are learning so that you master all that's expected of a fifth year. Makes sense. It would sense. be wise to take full advantage of this exceptionally valuable resource. Thank you, Professor, but what do you mean it will keep track of what I'm learning? Perhaps seeing it in action will answer any questions you may have. Walk with me and we shall put it to the test. Let's go! This way. The guide will give you opportunities to practice your magic and educate yourself about wizarding lore. I certainly would have appreciated something like the field guide when I was a student. Using the guide will also train you to be alert to your surroundings. Do keep up! Ah, the guide appears to have some information for you about that painting of poor Barufio. Hmm. Simply cast Revelio on it. And we'll see what the guide says. Revelio. Portrait of Barufio. The portrait depicts the wizard Barufio, famed for his brain exilier as an example of what happens when incantations are improperly spoken. He once said instead of F, he once said S instead of F, and found himself on the floor with a buffalo on his chest. Ah, poor guy. Just unlocked field guide. Challenge if progress towards completing challenges appear here. The field guide challenges are the only way to acquire experience point. Alright. This is your wizarding level experience for earned from challenges increase your level and power. Your field guide tracks your current challenge progress. Select the challenges menu to continue. So, collecting first guide page unlock the new challenge category. New challenges you unlock throughout your adventure will appear here. Uh, okay. Each challenge has tiers, special rewards unlock each tier you complete, from appearances to critical upgrades. Rewards must be claimed from challenges menu. Come back often to collect rewards you have unlocked. Clever, isn't it? Keep your eyes open for more opportunities like that, inside and outside of the castle. Hello? No time to waste. You've classes to attend. Oh, that's a nice cut. Revelio. Nope, it doesn't work with all of them. This is locked. Where are we going? Ah, good timing. Perfect opportunity to show you how to use flu flames to get around a bit quicker. Your mm. field guide contains a map of the castle. Open it up and find Central Hall. Hogwarts is divided in two main areas. The left side of the map is where the students and professors live and includes the house, common rooms and great hall. Select South Wing region to continue. In this view you can see your flu flames available in that region. Green flu flames represent flames that you have discovered, including your own house common room. Great flu flame location of undiscover of undiscovered flames. The right side of the map is where you find academic points of interest, including astronomy tower, library and greenhouses. 
Select the library in annex region. Professor Weasley has unlocked central hall flu flames for you. Who's in it through the map fast travel? Okay, cool. We go here. And here we are. Quite the time saver. These stairs lead directly to Central Hall. Hmm. You can get almost anywhere in the castle quickly from Central Hall. Always something happening here. It's the heart of the hive. Our King's Cross Station, so to speak. Hmm. That should be all for now. You'll be expected to attend both Charms and Defense Against the Dark Arts classes today. And I'd like to be sure you get to Hogsmeade as soon as possible to replace the supplies you lost on the way here. Uh, okay. Um... What will I learn in Charms class? Exactly what you might expect. Spells, charms, jinxes. Oh, jinxes. Useful. I think you will enjoy Professor Ronan. He's a clever and entertaining wizard and a talented teacher. Hmm... Can you tell me more about the Defense Against the Dark Arts class? Teaching. Defense Against the Dark Arts, as the name implies, focuses on how to defend oneself against the evils that lurk beyond these walls. A mastery of Defense Against the Dark Arts is required for those who aspire to become Auras. Fortunately, we are lucky to have the ever-gifted Professor Hecat in charge of mm. our students' education in that regard. You mentioned Hogsmeade, Professor. Hogsmeade is the only all-wizarding village in Britain and is home to an array of shops and pubs. You should be able to find all of the school supplies you require in Hogsmeade. You will also, I imagine, enjoy many a butterbeer there with friends in due course. All right, thank you. Thank you, Professor Weasley. A lot to absorb on your first day, and you have much to learn. Happily, your professors have agreed to create additional assignments for you outside of class. You'll be up to speed in no time. Judging by your adept use of Revelio earlier, I'd say Professor Fig succeeded in at least showing you the basics. <laughs> he did, Professor. He's been terribly vague as to the events preceding your arrival, specifically about what happened after that awful dragon attack. My suspicion is that there's more to the story than a search for belongings and an extended trip up to the castle. Uh... Yeah, I trust her. We did take a bit of a detour on the way here. Ended up exploring some ruins and... I shouldn't say more. Exploring ruins? Well... I presume Professor Fig has his reasons for keeping the details to himself for now. Speak of the devil, Professor Fig. Your ears must have been burning. Oh? Yes. You seem to have provided our new oh, no. with a solid foundation for okay, the basics okay. of spellcasting. Ah, I'm afraid I can't take all the credit there, Professor. They've a rare aptitude for magic, it seems. Hmm. Well, I'm just glad you both arrived in one piece. Perfectly good boats and carriages to Hogwarts, and you chose to fly in the path of a dragon. I wouldn't say I chose the dragon's path, Professor. Rather unfortunately, it would seem that it chose us. Very well. Enough chit-chat. I need to get to class myself. Might I rely on you, Professor Fig, to explain the details of the field guide's map? Of course. Thank you. Good luck today, and remember to use your field guide. It will be invaluable to you, and invaluable to me, as I'll be using it to keep up to date on your progress. Yes, Professor. Come and find me in my classroom after you've attended both classes today, and I'll explain more about those assignments I mentioned. And we'll see if we can't get you to Hogsmeade for those supplies. All right, quest. Start your first day. Welcome to Hogwarts. Talk to Professor Fig.
It's good to see you, Professor. And you. I was hoping our paths would cross today, before you immersed yourself in studies. Did I hear you and Professor Weasley talking about exploring ruins? Uh... Yeah, I mean, it was nothing. I didn't say nothing big. Yes, sir. But I didn't tell her anything else about her travels here. I will say, I think she suspects we're not being entirely forthcoming. Yes, well, Professor Weasley is a brilliant and astute witch. It was right to she keep is. the details to yourself for now. We don't know where this path we've embarked upon will lead. It may require a bit more flexibility with your time than she would approve of. And mm. she may feel obliged to share details with the headmaster that would be better left between us. Understood, Professor. Good. Now, as capable as you are, I believe the ability you possess obliges you to be well-trained. Happily, you have the benefit of an exceptionally skilled team of witches and wizards to guide you. Speaking of guides, and so that I may avoid another not-so-subtle reproof from Professor Weasley, <laughs> why don't I show you the clever enchantment we included in the field guides map? Unfold it and have a look. You can track available quests from the map. Right, these represent the main quest. Completing main quest will further the story, unlock new features and grant XP. Some quests are locked by spells and all level requirements. In these cases you will need to be required to level and or have required spell to activate the quest. New spell can be earned by completing professor ass assignment. Ah, why can't I speak? Or as quest rewards. Hmm. Charm class, defense. Let's go with charm first. I feel by Professor Ronan's class in the astronomy wing. This castle is enormous. We need to use some charmed compass in the field guide to help me find a way. All right, let's track this quest. The map is enchanted to help you find your way. This will be incredibly helpful. Thank you. Now, sounds like you've quite a day ahead, what with classes and a trip to Hogsmeade for supplies, including your own wand. You'll enjoy Mr. Ollivander. He's an exceptional craftsman and a good friend. I shall reach out when I have more information about our mysterious locket. For now, focus on your class. Wait a second, Ollivander was... How old more was Ollivander? I don't remember that. On the magic you are able to master because this is supposed to be in the 1800. Quest complete, welcome to Hogwarts. Cast Charmed Compass. Let's go. We don't need to say draw a testral. <laughs> Wee! <laughs> I don't know what was that. Yes, you can. Professor Ronan tends to go on a bit. We sometimes have to remind him. Some of us don't necessarily want him to go back to the lesson. Here. Behind you. There is an open seat here. Thank you. Hello, I am Nettie. So you are the new student. Have you met Professor Ronan yet? <clears throat> Shall we begin? <laughs> Welcome to year five of charms. Now, this will be a crucial year in your education on the art of charm work. Oh, I like it. I am confident that we will take hold with a passion and rigor requisite of such a challenge. Right now, everyone, please open your textbooks 
to page 517. But before we begin, can anyone here tell me the difference between the incantations of the color change and growth charms? Anyone? Anyone? Hmm? Ah, 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 ah. I am afraid it is too late to study now. Hmm. My, the summer months must have really taken a toll on you all. <laughs> By the looks of it, you all spent your holidays practicing obliviate on one another. <laughs> uh, <laughs> do you even remember how to perform a basic summoning charm? Hmm? Hmm. Well, it seems that we are in dire need of review. Everyone get into pairs and take positions on opposite sides of the classroom. Now let's put those textbooks to use as the blunt objects you so believe they are, and take turns summoning them out of one another's hands. Only one book will be needed per partnership, Miss Dale. Thank you. Get into place now. All right, let's go. Akio. That is not bad. Thank you. You are a I practice. swift learner. I see a lot of potential, but remember, potential is nothing without practice. Keep at it. You might just rival Miss Onai here. Very good, everyone. That's enough of that. Well, as you all seem to have the basics down and it is an exceptionally lovely day, I was thinking that we might have ourselves a little excursion outside for a spot of fresh air. After me. That's it. It's finished. <sighs> I've always found that fun goes hand in hand with mastery, as I'm sure the Quidditch players amongst us would agree, hmm? <laughs> So, what better than a bit of sport to put our prowess with the summoning charm to the test, right? <laughs> <sighs> Why don't we have our newest students start us off? Hmm? Do I have to just... Very simply, cast Akio on one of the spheres and relinquish your charm at the last possible moment. Now, Akio, I'll think of this like ghost. Splendid! No. Not to worry. A bit more, probably. No! I wanna try again! Very good! Points to Gryffindor. But there's certainly no sport in playing without some friendly competition. Miss Onai, would you care to give our new student a bit of a challenge? Come on up! be the blues just as before and miss onai you are playing red clear yes sir here we go oh come on Why did you ah composure? Woo! 
That was close. I still lost anyway. Yeah, I lost. That is how it's done. Akio. No, stop. Quite impressive. Ah. One more time. I want to do it again. Let us make this a bit more interesting, shall we? Oh, <laughs> I think we are well past interesting at this point. I'll say. Enough chatter. Focus now. You will need it. This round settles it all. Let us do this. No, stop, 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 stop. Yes. Splendid. There we go. No! Bruh. Happens to the best of us. Very <sighs> good, both of you. Well done. I'm so disappointed. Dismissed. Gather your things on the way out. Well done back there. You took the loss in stride. Didn't want to go too easy on you. Took me weeks to become proficient with Akio. Took weeks for me to get anything right when I transferred here. It gets easier, I promise. Mm. That's good to hear. It's a lot to take in all at once. To put it lightly, I remember how I felt when I first arrived. I transferred here from Wagadu just before my fourth year. My mother received an offer to teach divination here. Before I knew it, we had left Uganda and were halfway around the world at a new school in a new country. Is Wagadu much bigger than Hogwarts? Wagadu School of Magic is the largest wizarding school in the world. So yes, bigger than Hogwarts. But it never seemed intimidating or overwhelming to me. It always felt like home. Mm. Is Wagadu a castle like Hogwarts? It addresses Mountains of the Moon. It is not so much a castle as a beautiful edifice carved out of the mountainside. I remember the first time that I saw looks it, cool. That would look so cool. Was so thick, I could hardly make out anything at all. And then it just materialized before me, this enormous school that seemed to be floating in midair. <laughs> this may seem an odd question, but is magic the same there as it is here? Mm, mostly, yes. But I did have to learn how to use a wand when I arrived here. Hardly anyone at Wagadu uses one. Uh, you can cast you mean? spells without a wand. Oh, yes. I find wandless magic to be much more instinctive. Not to mention quite convenient if one is without their wand. I must admit, however, that I am growing quite fond of using a wand. It seems very 
dramatic. <laughs> it's nice to learn about another wizarding school. Thank you for asking. I do miss Wagadu, but I am glad to be here at Hogwarts. Ah, I think Professor Ronan wants to talk to you. Better not keep him waiting. Until next time. Of course. You A word, if you would. Humans. You wanted to speak with me, Professor? I did. I trust your first charms lesson lived up to expectation? Well, what, you want a review on TripAdvisor? wasn't exactly the lesson I was expecting, sir. What charm is there in the expected? Miss Onai is a talented witch. Take it in stride. One often gains the most from the battles one has lost. Of course, Professor. It was a challenging match. Miss Onai is always a fierce competitor, though I sense that she is a bit distracted of late. <clears throat> now, Professor Weasley has asked that your professors give you instruction outside of the ordinary curriculum. Expect to hear from me soon regarding a special assignment that I am preparing for you. Okay. Oh, I got to level two. Now. All right, let's go to the second. Side quests are now available. Available side quests can be found inside the region of Hogwarts marked with a flag discovered by exploring the world. Those quests are with XP but not advanced in the main story. Wait, where are the um, quests? Ah, never mind. Let's just go for this one. I think from here it's faster. In this way, I just have to do the stairs. Wait, how was I supposed to do the um, the compass? What are you up to now? Oh, those are ugly. Is that all you've got? Professor Hackett! Perhaps you'd be good enough to blast each other to pieces in your own time. I get new students every year, but I only have one Hebridean black skull. It was a token from the great poacher raid of 1878. No doubt you've heard of it. Now, you may be asking yourself how an old woman like me single-handedly took out the largest poacher ring in Eastern Wales and lived to boast about it. Knowledge. 
To the wise, age matters very little. Today we will review a spell that has saved me from death at the hands of dark wizards more times than I care to remember. Levioso. Levioso? A levitation charm? Levioso! A surprised opponent is a weak opponent. Care to defend yourself, Master Pruitt? No? One thing I've learned as an unspeakable is the value of simplicity, especially in the heat of battle. Now, let's practice what we've just learned, starting with something small. <laughs> Levioso. Now, let's try something a little larger. <clears throat> Should I? Lift him up. Let us begin with a basic cast. See how the dummy deflected your cast. This time, cast Levioso first, then the basic cast. Remember, a surprised opponent is a weak opponent, as Master Pruitt so artfully has. Well done. Levioso. Well done. Makes sense. Very good. But the best way to practice is by dueling. We'll start with you two. Duelist, take your marks. Time for a proper Hogwarts welcome. Now, <laughs> I want a fair duel using only Levioso, basic cast, and Protego. You may begin. <laughs> You're good. How receptive. Thank you. Rather good at this, aren't you? I know. <laughs> Let's just say I'm a quick learner. Oh, that was a close call. <laughs> Not bad for a beginner. You give as good as you get. <laughs> I put you on the spot, and you rose to the challenge. Points to Gryffindor. Yay! Thank you, Glad to have the opportunity to practice. If what I've seen today is any indication, we can expect great things from you. I demand excellence from my students. They are capable of achieving it, and they must achieve it. A classroom duel is one thing, but battling dark wizards, or as ever more likely, goblins, is a different kettle of Grindelows entirely. Understood, Professor. So, I'd advise you to keep practicing whenever you can. Perhaps Mr. Sallow will have some ideas for you. Again, well done today. I shall reach out soon with additional assignments. Yes, please, do that. This right. is my favorite That's class. That's enough spectacle for one day. Class is dismissed. Lumos. Levioso. <laughs> Revelio. Oh, I can't open it. Level two lock. Nice work. Thank you. I enjoyed that. Well, that duel was quite something. Everyone will be talking about it. It was certainly good practice. Practice? It felt more like I was dueling an expert. Sebastian Sallow, by the way. Didn't expect a new student to be so deft with a wand. 
then again. Perhaps this wasn't your first duel. Uh... Let's just lie. In fact, it was. Perhaps I have a knack for it. Be coy if you like, but I know better. Magic requires intention and talent. You know, you might be a perfect fit for a certain exclusive, unsanctioned dueling organization. Sorry, what? Sounds intriguing. Exclusive and unsanctioned. Count me in. Excellent. Knew I was right about you. If you want to get the most out of your time at Hogwarts, you're going to need to break the rules now and then. Whether it's joining True. a secret dueling club, or sneaking into the restricted section of the library, you just have to be clever enough not to get caught. Thank you, Sebastian. I'll keep that in mind. Good. Pleasure chatting with you. I'm sure I'll see you soon. Perhaps somewhere unsanctioned? We'll see <laughs> if your performance today was sheer luck, or actual skill. Look for Luke and Brattleby near the clock tower entrance. If you're interested. Oh, I am. Till next time. Defense against the Dark Hearts Plus. Still level 2. Now, where should I go? Handy resource indeed, your field guide. I'm most pleased to be included. Sorry, what? Revelio. <laughs> All right, cool. I want to see... Wait, where is it? Compass it was V. Let's go! Transfiguration? Hello? What about the room, Professor? I was thinking the same thing, Deke. Perhaps you could help. Oh, uh, excuse, Deke. Ah, there you are. I trust your first classes went well? They did, Professor. I heard as much from Professors Hecate and Ronan. Seems Professor Fig taught you quite a bit during your brief detour near... What was it you said? Some ruins? I'd wager there's a good deal more to your travels here than what you've told me. Isn't there? Mm, no, Professor. Nothing more, Professor. I see. Like trying to get a sonnet from a streeler. Regardless, <laughs> you must continue to build upon what you've learned. In that regard, I've asked your professors to help hasten your progress with some extra assignments. All right. Professor Ronan did mention something about that. In fact, Professor Ronan will meet you outside momentarily to assign your first one. Now, regarding the trip to Hogsmeade I mentioned earlier, we've arranged to replace the supplies lost on your way here, including seeds, potion recipes, and spellcrafts. Thank you, Professor. And Mr. Ollivander will connect you with the perfect wand. 
You've managed your classes well with a borrowed wand, but you'll find the magic you cast with your own wand to be far superior. All right. Um. There's an Ollivanders in Hogsmeade. There is. Most people are familiar oh, with the shop in Diagon no Alley. We're fortunate to have someone like him nearby. Mr. Ollivander is a genuine craftsman and highly skilled wand maker. I would trust no one else to pair me with a wand. True, true. I'm ready to I go. I to get to Hogsmeade. Very well. I'd like you to make your first visit to the village with a classmate. Help you get your bearings. Perhaps Sebastian Salo or Natsai Onai. I've noticed you spending time with them. Hmm. I liked Sebastian. No, I'll go with Natty. I'd like to go with Natty. Excellent choice. Miss Onai is one of our most talented students. And she knows the area. She'll keep you well clear of any of Victor Rookwood's undesirables en route. <laughs> Rookwood? A rather unsavory local. Best to avoid him and his associates, including his right hand of sorts, Theophilus Harlow, if you can. Once you've finished Professor Ronan's assignment, your friend will meet you at the castle doors. No time to waste. The sooner you complete your work, the sooner you can enjoy a butterbeer at the Three Broomsticks. <laughs> oh, that's so cool. I'll go with this one first. Now I have to go here, so I think... Yeah, I think here it's the closest. Speak to Professor Ronan to receive your first assignment. The assignments are types of quests given to you by Hogwarts Professor that when completed rewards you with new spells. The rewards for completing your first assignment will be Mending Charm Reparo, which is required to complete other quests. You can track assignment and their progress in the quest menu of your field guide. Yeah, but he's not the one that I wanted to go. Oh, yeah, I need to learn Reparo first. Ah, all right. I guess it can be her. Oh, Sir Nicholas. Let's go, Tinkerbell. Oh, there you are. I don't want to see an armor ever in my life. Glad you can make it. Lucan's just over there. Sorry, what? Oh, I unlocked it. I've always said that travel broadens the mind. <laughs> Revelio.
Can I help you? Hello? Do I need to talk with him? Sebastian told me to see you about a club. If Sebastian vouches for you, that's all I need to know. I coordinated duels for crossed ones. A dueling club of sorts. It's invitation only, so you must have really impressed Sebastian. Oh, thank you. I'm flattered to hear that. Sebastian's not a bad duelist either. Imagine it's quite something to see the two of you duel. How does cross ones work exactly? You show up. I match you with other duelists, and whoever is still standing in the end, wins. It's our way of determining the school's greatest duelist once and for all. And, to liven things up, the winner is awarded a prize. Interested? Yes. Of course. Dueling's an entertaining pastime. I agree. Besides, in crossed ones, you could duel with a partner if you like. Your first time I'll pair you with Sebastian. Next time, you'll need to bring a partner along, or duel alone. So, care to step into the ring? Uh, Get sure, let's ring. go. Spectacular! Let the fireworks begin! We'll make you regret signing up. Alright, break through yellow shields with control spells like levitation spell Levioso, target lock, lets your enemies without aiming, lets you track enemies without aiming. Oh, come on. Yes. Yes. Don't count me out yet. Brilliant. Yes! I could never duel like that. Nice work. Sebastian wasn't wrong about you. There's strong competition ahead, but keep this up and you could be the next school champion. Brilliant. Count me in. I shall. Now, it takes time to organize these duels, but check with me later. I may have something lined up for you. Again, congratulations on your first Crossed Ones victory. Well fought. See you back here again. All right, let's just continue until we get a wand. Wait, uh. Yes, that's where I need to go. Mm. 
just got here. Ah, Hello, Prof. There you are. You have a new spell to teach me, Professor. Indeed I do, and an exceedingly useful one at that, the mending charm Reparo. Fixes things right up, makes a broken object good as new in the blink of an eye. Hmm. It seems as if that might come in handy. More frequently than one would imagine. As Professor Weasley mentioned, I am not the only one who will be teaching you spells outside of class in an effort to catch you up with your peers. A number of your professors have agreed to do so as well, but first, each shall ask that you complete a few preliminary tasks to hone your magic. I have arranged some for today. See them through and then report back to me. <laughs> we will have you casting Rapero in no time. Oh. Uh, I'll complete I'll the task. The task right away, Professor. Collect the flank page near the broken statue. Wait, let me open this chest before. This is the right area. I wonder where the flying page is. Here. Got it. And then in the tower. Revelio. Flying page must be around here somewhere. If only a new student were to help me with my sad prediction. Akio. Brilliant. Here you are. Revelio. Are you all right? Don't you know who I am? Zenobia Oak. The girl whom everyone at school hates for no reason. What? Everyone hates you. Why? Because Hogwarts is full of bullies and spoil sports. Leander Pruitt's one of the worst, that no talent moon mind. I wanted to make some new friends, and so I brought my collection down to the common room. My gobstone collection, that is. I was hoping someone would want to play. Are you familiar with gobstones? Little balls, like marbles. Grand game. And if you lose, they spray you with a foul smelling liquid. Uh, sounds awful, but it's interesting. Gobstones sounds like a fun challenge. That's, That's what not I what I said. Tell everyone, <sighs> people can be so cruel just because they're sprayed all over with smelly gobstone spit. It's their own fault for losing. Imelda is one of the worst losers. Everett and Astoria are terrible as well. And now those poor losers have taken my gobstones and hidden them in very high places all over the school. Hmm. Yeah, they need the reaction. Rather an overreaction on their part. I'll say. Anyway, I can't work out how to get them back on my own. I don't think I know the necessary spells yet. I need someone, perhaps a selfless and talented fifth year, to help me. Uh huh. I'll see what I can do. I'd appreciate the help. If you do find all of my gobstones, do come and see me again. I'll be back to playing Snake Pit and Jackstone by myself in no time. Cool. We got a secondary quest. I'd better keep an eye on high places around the school for Zenobia's gobstones. <clears throat> I trust the preliminary Rebellion. tasks weren't too much trouble. I completed the assignments, Professor. Marvelous. You clearly know your way around basic charms. Let us give the old mending charm a try then, shall we? Remember to be deliberate in your enunciation and movements. I want to see some vigor. Now, wand at the ready. Yes, sir. Remember, 
Your wand is a conduit of your magic. No, oh, no. Wedding charm repair can be used when broken object and pieces of the environment. That's it. Very good. If you would like to practice me. Wyvern Fountain. The fountain is Transfiguration Courtyard. Has likeness of a Wyvern on top of and serves as a relaxing place for students to gather. Despite rumors of the contrary, possibly started by Sir Cadogan, this is most assuredly not meant to be a Wyvern of Y, slain by the lively knight in spite of himself. Have a go with that broken statue in the alcove by the water. It allegedly symbolized heartbreak. Perhaps a jilted lover thought it too accurate and lashed out. Can I untrack it from here? No. Now I have to go on the other side, or not? Ah, I mean, it's close. No need. Revelio. Secret room? Yes, please. Brown leather fingerless clothes. Rebellion. A rebellion, your life. Ow. Yes. Natty, I hope I haven't kept you waiting long. Not at all. Professor Weasley tells me that you need to go to Hogsbeat. You must be eager to have your own things again. And to see the village. I've been looking forward to it. Good. Shall we set off? I intend to give you a first-rate Hogsmeade experience. Ooh. I'm just, I'm just kidding, I'm just kidding. I was glad Professor Weasley asked me to accompany you. Really? Yes. I had planned to extend an invitation to you myself. I thought you might enjoy a better be in the village. <laughs> the timing of Professor Weasley's hour was perfect. Oh. I told you guys, she's I nice. I tell you how nice it is to breathe fresh air after being cooped up in ancient rooms. Grave mistake to take it as an elective class, believe me. I believe you. Though I suppose you would not really call it elective when your mother was the one who elected that you take it. <laughs> oh, 
Hog's meat is beautiful this time of year. Everyone will tell you to visit at Christmas, but that's one of the few times of year I would rather be indoors. <laughs> not much for the cold, are you? Oh, I do not mind the cold so much, but it has taken some getting used to. I did not grow up around snow. Oh, wait, over here. I often spot lacewing flies in this area. Oh? What's so special about them? They are interesting to look at. But if you stew them, you can also use them in potion making. I'll take it. Are they singing? Haha. <laughs> From the Forbidden Forest. Hippogriffs. I wonder if something startled them. Oh. I heard rumors that hippogriffs had been spotted nearby. <laughs> That's how I roll? Do you think Poppy's already seen the hippogriffs? Absolutely. Why do we already know? That's the Forbidden Forest on the left. It's off limits to students. As the name implies. Why is it off limits? The professors claim it is too dangerous. I think that calling it forbidden only makes it more alluring. Ah, I don't like your mentality, woman. Pass that ruin. No, I would have done the same. Let's be honest. I would spend all of my time exploring if I could. I confess I was surprised when Professor Weasley mentioned that you knew the area, since you're relatively new here. She said that? Hmm. She knows more about me than I had thought. I will say, while I certainly learn a great deal in class, much can be gleaned outside of the castle walls. Pestrals. Jumping mushrooms. How are you sitting? I remember the weeks that followed my arrival feeling quite strange. Everything was so new and unfamiliar. I'm getting used to things. What about you? Do you finally feel settled? I'm getting used to things. What about you? Do you finally feel settled? I still miss my homeland, but it is beautiful here too. And getting out of the castle and exploring helped me to adjust quite a bit. Hogwarts has become something of a home now, I would say. Hopefully it will for you too. Mr. Moon! He is the Hogwarts caretaker. Looks a bit worse for wear. Hello, Mr. Moon. Have you met our new fifth year? Pleasure. Um, you might want to turn back, Miss On I. Uh, turn and run. Is everything all right, sir? Oh, it looked right at me. Eyes big as saucers. Sorry, what? What did Mr. Moon? Jemmy, guys, Dudley and Arian. Mm, terrifying. Uh, is it drunk? I shall be at the castle where it's safe. Good luck to both of you. Mr. Is he gonna reach the castle? I think he had too much fun in the village. I will say that I have never seen him in such a state. Nearly there. There is much to see outside of the castle walls, not just Hogsmeade. I am happy to explore whenever you'd like. Rumors being what they are about goblins and such, it might be nice to have a friend with you. I'll keep that in mind, Natty. Thank you. Hogsmeade, here I come. And here we are at Hogsmeade. And here we are. It is hard to know where to start. The Three Broomsticks is the place for butterbeer. 
and you can get any sweet you can imagine at Honey Dukes. I could not choose a favorite shop here. It changes with every visit. I can tell you that you are certain to find everything you need in Hogsmeade. Let me just fix the settings. Okay. And then let's see. Wait, where did I? Where was I supposed to? Let's go for balanced. It should be a bit better now. The Minister of Magic didn't get where he is by sitting on his hands. Revelio. Crindle and Precacious Cauldron. This Precaciously stacked set of cauldrons outside Cedric advertises the shop's wear. It should be noted that stacking cauldrons in this fashion, while admittedly eye catching it, is ill advised for anyone wishing to brew potions of any intended effect. <laughs> Professor Weasley said that you need to get potion recipes, spellcrafts, some seeds, and... A new wand. Of course! You will enjoy Mr. Ollivander, and I am keen to see what you will do with a wand of your own. You should be able to collect everything you need and still have time to explore a little as well. Experience Hogsmeade at your own pace. We can meet up in the town circle when you are finished. Yeah, enjoy I think yourself. I'm gonna need to fix it a little bit more. Hogsmeade brimming with different sites, shop, and other points of interest that you can navigate using the Fields Guide map. Alright, first thing Ollivander. Oh, it's right here. Cool. Yeah, it should be a bit better now. Makers of fine ones, Ollivanders. Ring the bell. I'll be right with. Ah, it's you. Um, just a moment, please. <laughs> ah, mm. hello, sir. I'm looking for for a new wand. Yes. It's about time. Yes, uh, about time. Well, you're our new fifth year student, are you not? Oh, what am I saying? Of course you are. Gerbold Ollivander's the name. But of course, you'll have heard of the Ollivanders, I'm sure. Finest one makers in the world. It's a pleasure to meet you, truly. Now, come with me. Let's find you the perfect one, shall we? Mm, uh, no, 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 not you. Um, Ah, yes, yes, hmm, powerful core, ten and a half inches, hmm, you might do. Here, give this one a try. Well, go ahead, swish. Nope. Hmm. How odd. Uh, once more, come on, really swish it. Oh, that's a no-no for me. Oh well, this isn't a good match at all, is it? <laughs> <laughs> um, I love him. We'll find you something, not to worry. No, not you. Uh, uh, hmm, perhaps. Yes. A rare wood, 13 and 3 quarter inches, dragon heart string. Let's give this one a try. 
That ain't my one. Looks like it's back to the shelf for you. <sighs> this is proving to be trickier than I had anticipated. How perplexing. Um, where are you? Perhaps you? Uh, ah, there you are. <laughs> I think you might be the one. Here, take it. Yep, that's it. I'll go for this one. What do you think? Extraordinary. Ha <laughs> ha. Another wand, another beginning of a bright and magical future. <laughs> ah. Now, how did that feel? Good. Different. I sensed a sort of surge of some kind. A match. Your connection seemed particularly powerful. The right wand will learn from you, just as you learn from it. I'm eager to try it out. I would imagine so. A wand with a dragon heartstring core is capable of dazzling magic. And the bond between you and your wand should only grow stronger. Do not be surprised at your new wand's ability to perceive your intentions, particularly in a moment of need. That sounds wonderful, Mr. Ollivander. I'll let you get to it. Do come and see me again, if ever I can be of further assistance. All right. And the guys wraps up for the first episode of Hogwarts Legacy. As always, thank you very much for watching. I don't know if you noticed, but I feel like I came back as a little kid again. Don't forget to subscribe, smash the like button, and I'll see you next time. Peace.